Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be going over how to break down finding tangent or any trig function of large degrees, large radians. The best and a good way to approach them. For something like this, for example, tangent of 930 degrees. We want to be able to use reference angles to make this angle smaller, something more familiar. Especially if we're going to look for the exact value. Which let's do that today. We'll look for the exact value. Because of course we could put it into our calculator and it would tell us a decimal, but oftentimes it's going to be helpful for us to know an exact value for it. For something like this, since it's obviously more than 360 degrees, let's use full rotations to make it smaller. I'll first subtract 360. Because since we're talking about a circle, wherever the whatever quadrant the angle ends up in, let's just say for example it's here, going around 360 degrees doesn't change where it ends up. So it's a safe way of making this number smaller. And when I do that, I'll get 570, which is still larger than 360, one rotation, or revolution. So I'll subtract it again. Now I'll have 210 degrees. Now I'm finally less than 360 degrees. So let's identify where approximately this is. 210 degrees would put me, put me in quadrant 3. Since this over here is 180 degrees. And as I mentioned, finding a reference angle will help us even more in determining this value because we know we can use reference angles to help us out. Reference angle in this case would be from where our angle is to the nearest x-axis, which in this case is going to be here. So this angle is our reference angle. So in other words, what's the difference between 210 degrees and 180? That's going to be 30. So we're essentially saying what is tangent of 30 degrees. Since it's, since it's 30 degrees, we can use our, and of course we want an exact value, we'll use our 30, 60, 90 triangle which we'll call 60, 30 so using our 30, 60, 90 triangle, what is tangent of 30? Well, that's going to be 1 over square root of 3. Now we want to rationalize that. So we'll multiply square root of 3, square root of 3 and we'll end up with square root of 3 over 3. Now lastly, we need to identify what quadrant we're in. Now we already said from before that being, 200, being the equivalent of 210 degrees, we're in quadrant 3. And the value of tangent in quadrant 3 is positive, so we, we're fine keeping it like this. This is our final exact answer. The same can be said for the same kind of problem with radians. The difference is, in radians, my one full rotation is 2 pi. I want it in terms of a denominator of 3. So this becomes 6 pi over 3. Because 6 pi over 3 is equivalent to 2 pi. Now we're in the same denominator. We're going to do the same thing. Obviously, 17 pi over 3 is bigger than 16 pi over 3. So let's continue to subtract until we get a radian that's less than 6 pi over 3. 
by subtract once, I'll get 11 pi. Still bigger than 6, so I'll subtract it one more time. Now I'll have 5 pi over 3. So we're saying 17 pi over 3 is equivalent to saying what is sine of 5 pi over 3. Now like the previous one, we want an exact value. So let's return to our reference angle first. 5 pi over 3 puts us in quadrant 4. So this is 5 pi over 3. Remember, a reference angle will help us out to simplify it even more. The reference angle is again from the angle itself to the nearest x axis, which is going to be right here. Since we're talking about one full rotation, remember this is the same thing as 6 pi over 3. So, in other words, what's the difference from 5 pi over 3 to 6 pi over 3? That's going to be pi over 3. So, really, I'm saying what is sine of pi over 3? We can still use our 30, 60, 90 triangle. Pi over 3 is equivalent to 60 degrees. So what is sine of 60 degrees? Well, that's going to be square root of 3 over 2. Finally, we need to determine, since we're in quadrant 4, what is the sine of, well, sine. Quadrant 4, sine, or I should say, sine is only positive in quadrants 1 and 2, so obviously in quadrant 4, sine should be negative. So the overall answer would be negative th square root of 3 over 2.